everyone. So I recently got the chance to go to Whitehorse Yukon and one of the questions that came up for me when I was packing was what clothing should I pack for winter in Yukon? So now that we've gone to Whitehorse Yukon and come back and experienced the minus 40 degrees Celsius plus wind chill temperatures, I think I have a little bit more insight into what to pack in terms of clothing. So I thought I'd share what I packed before you go, always check the weather forecast. For us, it was forecasted to be as cold as minus 40 degrees Celsius plus wind chill. I don't have winter clothing for that temperature because living in Vancouver, it doesn't get that cold and it doesn't get that snowy. So it doesn't make sense to go and buy expensive winter gear just for that trip if I'm not gonna be able to use it at home. But they do rent out winter clothing. So that's what we did. We went with Men's World. Um, but there are some other companies as well that also rent out clothing like Arctic Range, I believe. And so they usually have two packages. All the companies that do rent out clothing are pretty much equivalent, I think. They vary a little bit in pricing, but the clothing that they rent out is about the same. So there's two packages of clothing based on temperature ratings, really. So I just emailed them and asked them which one would be more appropriate during our stay. And they recommended the colder option. I think the boots were rated to like minus 100 degrees Celsius or something. The packages included a fleece line toque, fleece gloves, mittens that were waterproof, but had fleece lining in it, big, waterproof snow boots, salopettes, snow pants, and a big winter jacket that was waterproof and windproof. So that actually kept us very warm during our stay. The package for us for five nights costs approximately $200, so it's not so bad. It is really important that you stay warm, right? So in terms of what we packed for clothing, we followed a few general rules, which was number one, we needed to dress in layers. Layers because you can peel them off easily if you're going from outside to inside add on as needed or take away as needed and number two to avoid cotton material because when it does get wet it doesn't dry very easily so if you get it wet or you sweat you might get cold so i'll show you what i packed and it worked well enough for me i often wear camisoles or tank tops as like my base layer i know that a lot of people recommend also like a long sleeve base layer so you might want to do that instead of this but this is just what i did just a basic cami it's not cotton it's from uniqlo it's from their heat tech line and then on top of that i would wear a fleece turtleneck also from uniqlo it's very soft and it's very warm. And then on top of that, also from Uniqlo, is this fleecy uh, zip up. So it's like this, it's very soft, very comfortable and very warm. I think I wore it like every single day. And then for the bottom, these are like tights and they're also from Uniqlo. They're also from the heat tech line. These are like thin ones that I could wear underneath like the snow pants. But I also had a pair of thicker ones and they're also from Uniqlo from their heat tech line and these are fleece lined so they're warmer. So these are actually the ones I wore the most when I was in White Horse. I just wore them under the snow pants. And then for socks I had these ones. I bought these a while ago, like years ago and I think they were labeled like thermal socks or something like that. So they're fairly warm, but I don't think they're wool socks. So if you get wool socks, those also work really well. I brought my ski pants, which I only used mainly if we were just going around town or or if it was a little warmer outside and I didn't want to wear the full like salopette. So I also brought my ski pants. And then I brought a toque. The clothing rental package included a toque too, but I just brought my own. For your neck and your face, you'll want to cover it because if it gets windy, it can really bite at your skin. So you can get either one of those neck warmers, the ones that you just like loop over your head and pull over your face, or like a balaclava. Uh, but I didn't have one of those, but I just brought a scarf and wrapped it around my face and I could pull it over my face when I needed it. I brought these mittens that are fleece line mittens. They're really warm, but I mainly used the gloves provided in the clothing package because I could still use all my fingers and those fleece gloves were actually really quite warm. So last but not least, here are a few other things that you might want to pack. Sunscreen and sunglasses because if it's sunny and then it reflects off the snow, it's going to be pretty bright. And then you might want to bring, actually you should bring your moisturizer and your lip balm because that cold is gonna make your skin drier and you don't really want to have cracked lips. And the other thing is if you're planning to take 
videos and photos, bring extra batteries because in that kind of temperature, they run out really quickly. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope that was helpful. If you want to see more, please subscribe so you can follow Daphne Explore. Bye. Also stay tuned for the vlog. I just said so, so many times. Here are a... a <laughs>